Hey, what's up? God bless. My people are coming in. I'm going to just read a little bit of scripture. Philippians 3, 12. Not that I have already attained, I'm already perfected. But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I'm just reading some scripture while some people jump on. I'm reading out of Philippians 3. It says, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. All right, guys. God bless. Um, just want to say what's up. I'm at work. It feels raining and pouring. I have a booth. And um, I'm like, I don't want to sit out there. So I sat in my car for a little bit. Uh, just want to say God bless you guys. Thank you for viewing. Um, I know if you've seen a lot of my, my page lately, there's been a lot of activity. Uh, we got books coming out. We did a song. Just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, you know, for, for a long time, uh, those of you that know, I was in the music industry. I did some movies before Christ, released a book before Christ, and all this stuff, you know, that, that I had under my belt. And um, all these years, even though I've done songs here and there, my main focus has been just uh, pastoring the church, you know, pastoring the church and, and, and preaching the gospel. And I've always saw it like this. And, um, I said, you know, Lord, I'm going to lay all that stuff at your feet. Uh, any talent that I have, any whatever, you, I don't know, it feels weird me calling it talent, whatever it is, you know, that I do, um, I'm just laid at your feet, Lord. I'm just going to preach. And yeah, you know, like I said, I've done songs here and there, but there's a lot of activity you see lately. And um, it's because I, I truly, in my heart, feel now that God is releasing that back and, and maybe maybe so the lord wanted to build character in me maybe he wanted to build perseverance because i see a lot of people that are artistic and they jump the gun because i get it man i, I get excited too i mean it's it's fun to do film music books all that stuff is fun to do and, and it's a lot of fun that's that's what my whole life was before christ was just being artistic of I mean, I was constantly in a studio, constantly recording music, constantly writing lyrics, constantly in meetings and concerts and autograph signings and film and editing. And, and it, it was a lot of fun. And it still is. You know, I, I don't regret those things I did with Darkroom. I, I regret the, um, the, the dark world that I was involved in. I don't regret those things, that, that those accomplishments. I don't regret those things. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot. But now serving God, I didn't want to jump into it and, and just be that for Christ now. So I'm just like, Lord, I lay it all at your feet. But now there's been a shift. There's been a change where um, I'm, I'm feeling, we're, I don't even want to say I'm led, but I feel doors are opening now. And it started off recently with my brother Alfonso, and he hit me up and wanted help in, in writing his book and authoring his book. And and um, I said, let's do it, you know. And I didn't know how. When I released my book back then, I had music distribution. I was able to press a thousand books and just shoot them out across the nation. I didn't have that stuff anymore. Everything is digital now. Everything is ebooks. Everything is audible. I basically had to relearn a lot of the game because I've been out of it for so long. And um, with his book, doors began to open, and, and, and we just released his book, God's Fingerprints. It's on Amazon. It's on Walmart.com, BarnesandNoble.com. It's, it's about to be released as an audible. He asked me to do, to do the narration. Um, it, it's a paperback. It's an e-book, like I said, an, an audible. Um, I just took pre-orders for my old book that is not a Christian book, but nevertheless, it's, it's, to me, it's relevant, especially now, like everybody's talking about uh, not so much gangs, but this whole cartel uh, 
lifestyle and whatnot. And I was already talking about that stuff back then when I wrote the book in 1999. Just now people are talking and watching like that show Nauticals or, or watching, um, I don't know, uh, Oh Sicario, the movie. And I'm like, man, I was talking about this stuff back in, my, in the 90s. So, um, but I, I, I wanted to release that book because it was a it was a, a an accomplishment that I was proud of. I mean, not many people can say I wrote a book, especially Chicanos from the barrio. They're not saying, "Oh yeah, I wrote a book." You know, and that was a big deal for me, and it still is. It's something that I'm proud of myself for doing. So what I did do is I put an introduction about who I am now as a pastor, and at the end I added basically an altar call to it. So I I just recently made that an audible, and I'm just taking pre-orders now to reprint after 20 years of it being out of print of reprinting so you're going to see a lot of stuff asking about that and, and honestly i'm using that as a vehicle to help fund the christian books i'm about to push out that we're about to push out in the next few years and i'm like what better than to use what the enemy had used before and i'm going to flip it and, and, and now and use it to help fund the things of god you know so, and then in the midst of that, I got together with ALG, you know, who used to be a member of Darkroom Family. Got a hold of Anthony, Brother Anthony, young aunt, who was a part of Darkroom Family. And we we're just sitting there talking, you know, and I said, why don't we do a song, man? You know, I told Tony, your wife sings, my wife sings, you know, and Brother Scott, um, Pastor Scott, who helped co-write the movie Always With You. His wife sings, and we're just like, you know what? Let's knock this thing out. So we did that song, Out of Darkness. And I told the guys, I said, you know what? This is how we're going to know. Never, it's been years since people have heard a darkroom style song, but for God, us three ex-darkroom members, and, and to get in a song was, was for me, it was his, in a, a historical moment that we were able to get in the studio. And I said, this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to throw this out there. We're going to put it on iTunes, Google Play, um, Spotify, all this stuff. And if people support it, then we'll do a whole album. You know, we'll do a whole album. But this stuff, you know, we, we pay studio time. We pay for the production. We pay for all this stuff. And even to get it, to get distribution, because just now it just released on iTunes. It released everywhere. Um, I said, so we're going to know by the support of whether, I said, Lord, if, if we're supposed to do this for your glory and doors are supposed to open so we can put this out there, then people are going to support it. And if not, then it's not because, you know, we got jobs, man, but I, I have children to feed. I have my wife, I have bills and stuff. So, you know, we're just going to throw that song out there and see what happens because either God opens doors or he doesn't. And that's it. You know, I got, I got, in doing that song, I got a lot more songs in me, you know, but I, I can't, I have to be thoughtful and mindful. And I can't just be working and pour my money into that stuff. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a grown man and I got grown man bills, you know, it's not like it was before. So we threw that song out there, you know, so, I mean, we're putting a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of stuff out there. One thing I will say that you're going to notice, guys, um, that... What I don't, you're not going to see, because we're going to call it, it's called Paracletos. Paracletos means the Holy Spirit in Greek. Paracletos films, Paracletos music, Paracletos publishing. It means the Holy Spirit. And we're not going to be releasing CDs with our faces all up on the cover as, as a statement to whoever is in that industry or doing whatever it is they're doing. Our personal conviction is we're not going to throw our face out there. Nobody's trying to get famous. We're just trying to spread. Like, I have it in me. When I do songs, man, it, it's not because, like, oh, look at me, look at me. It's because it's in me, and I, I got to release it. I got to release that, whether it's on, on books or on movies or whatever, you know. And, and that's why, like, the movie Always With You, we release that free on YouTube. It's free, you know, and people can watch it. And, and why did I do that? We spent a lot of money to make that movie. Why did we do that? And, and honestly, the movies we sold didn't make up for the money we spent on it. Why did we do that, though? Number one, it's a great message. And number two is that what if somebody does see that movie and says, you know what? 
I can fund their next movie. And this is what they did with this small amount of budget. What if I give them a bigger budget? What if they can push that stuff out further? That's why we throw that stuff out there, you know? And um, so you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff, you know, whether it's music or books or, you know, I, um, I have a book I'm doing of my own. I, I, I was incarcerated 